Hey everyone, I just want to make a real quick video talking about a better way to use the search bar in Visual Studio 2019. So if you're ever working in a solution you know, similar to this, this is just a standard MVC web app, uh, and you want to search for something, so in my case, you know, let's search for first name. If you double click the key term like that, or the word you want to search for, you highlight it and you hit Control F, you can see it, it populates this. So if we close that out completely and we double click it, we hit Control F, it'll throw it up into the search bar right there. Um, next thing we don't want to do is we don't want to hit enter right here because we don't want to use this find next button. It's not very good practice I find to use this uh, button. You, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mouse over to this drop down and you're going to want to hit find all. Find all is going to show you all the references here of that, you know, wherever that occurs throughout the whole solution, if that's where, if that's how you have it set. Uh, you can see here I can click on these and, and go right to that reference very quickly. If you're ever working inside a large solution with many projects and you go the route of, you know, just entering whatever word it is and you hit enter, you can see that it's just going to go take you to the reference and it's going to take you to another, another reference and then it's going to, you know, if you have any more occurrences or not, it's going to show you this. If you don't, you hit enter and that's it. But if you were to hit enter again, you begin to edit the file. And it's real easy to forget that you're doing that and accidentally make edits to your file. And you have to go and undo those in the git um, before you make a pull request. Uh, but also, this is not a fast way to do searching either. It, it actually uh, lags Visual Studio. The, the bigger your project becomes or the bigger your solution becomes. And using the drop down and find all is a actually a lot faster way to search through your solution. And it's also a lot more effective because you can see visually, you know, where you're at and where this occurs. For me, I pretty much only use the drop down find all search functionality. I don't really have a good reason to use find next. Like, I guess it's effective if you were to um, narrow it down to current document but even then I still like to see where everything is and I only get that with find all and for me the projects I'm typically used to working in are very large so my Visual Studio actually begins to lag and it'll tell me application not responding if I use this find next so I don't pretty much don't use that so anyway if this tip was helpful. Let me know. Uh, this is just something that I didn't know coming into software development. And somebody actually told me about using this drop down find all and how it's faster. And I just got in the hang of do using it. So if this helps you, if, if this helps you out at all, let me know if you want to see any more visual studio tips or tricks. Also, let me know in the comments, uh, if you want to see any more extension method or extensions for visual studio, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.